right here at Rafa's garage. Today we're working on the Corolla. We're actually gonna swap the O2 sensor because I'm getting a 420 code. So might as well replace the O2 sensor first before I replace the cat. So I'm getting a cat code. So I'm gonna replace the downstream as usually what goes out. Plus I'm pretty sure it still has the OEM one. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So for the O2 sensor on the downstream, it's actually down here. So you have to take off the shift boot or the cover for it. And then your upstream is up here. It's not like the Solica where both of them was up here. Um, this one's a little pain in the ass. That one's a lot easier. Um, but I've already disconnected it thinking it was this one, but it's not this one. So gotta plug it back in there it is everything's back together now just to do the light right now real quick and go for a test drive cap code and i'm pretty sure the other one oh evap so let's erase it then go for a test drive and get a smog hopefully hopefully that's the problem and not my cat also got a smog done for the Corolla. Time to register it under my name. Time to get this car registered. Must have not the end of it. This is around the corner. Around the corner of it. Back at it again. We're gonna fix this muffler and get an alignment done. But look at this bad boy right here. Uh, it's been sitting here for ages. I want to buy it, but no money. So this is where it broke off right here. Um, it's missing a hanger right there, and my board light's lost. alignment done there was a lot of camber on this side when i i guess put the coils right i removed the air uh tire pressure light on all you gotta do is hold this button for a while i guess because the axle wasn't fully in now that i have the new axle and it's fully in with the abs it was able to reset i also got it registered to my name already and i got plates for What's it called? Smurf. So, let's put those stickers on right now as soon as I get home. 